All right, Captain America: The First Avenger, um, released in 2011, summer like summer 2011, I think. Uh, directed by Joe Johnson. Let's talk about this movie. Okay, um, there's a lot to say about this movie. This is the introduction of one of the best MCU heroes ever in the history of Marvel, I think. Uh, you can keep your old 90s Captain America. We got Chris Evans, who was originally that abomination uh, Human Torch. Uh, now he's back playing Captain America. Let's talk about this movie. This movie, I have a lot to say about this movie. Okay, with the last review with Thor, I said uh, it was a very uh, criminally underrated movie with Thor. You want to talk about underrated movies. Everyone always looks. When they think of Captain America, they always think of, oh, Captain America Civil War. Oh, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Oh, Captain America in Infinity War. He was awesome. He had a beard and all that shit. You know what? I am going to say this right now. If you do not think this movie, The First Avenger, is a good movie, get the fuck off my channel. I am dead serious because no one ever talks about this movie. Everyone always ignores this and goes on to The Winter Soldier, Civil War, or Cap's place in The Avengers, Avengers 2, or Infinity War. Let me tell you right now, this is one of the best times we've ever seen Steve Rogers. He's so damn likable as a character, and he's trying to get into the war, and he's too skinny, and they give him that procedure that turns him into a buff-ass badass. You know, there's so much to love about this movie, and this is the definition of underrated movie. Let's talk about this, okay? The great things about this movie, we obviously have a great cast, like with Thor. Captain America is great. Chris Evans is amazing as Steve Rogers. He really pulls it off in this. This is the first time we got to let him shine in this movie, and he was great. We also have Haley Atwell as Peggy Carter, who did a, an outstanding job as well. Uh, Sebastian Stan, his um, first live-action form as uh, Buchanan Barnes. And then you got, uh, who else we got? We got Tommy Lee Jones, Dominic Cooper, Tucci. Stanley Tucci is great in the movie, too. Of course, you have like Samuel L. Jackson at the end and all that. But let's talk about the breakout role. Not the breakout role, but the better role, and at least in my opinion, my favorite role in this movie, Hugo Weaving as Johann Schmidt, a.k.a. Red Skull. Red Skull kills it in this movie. There's not a get enough appreciation. We knew he was going to come back. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Infinity War, he's in Infinity War. He's he's damn good in this movie. And I, I was so glad to see him return because he, he's one of those villains that we expected him to return. And he finally did and we got to see him back. Although it wasn't Hugo Weaving, still okay. I could go on and on about what this movie is great. And I'm going to keep it uh, going a little bit more because we have a couple things left to talk about. Uh, let's talk about some of the individual scenes. I love that train sequence um, with Bucky falling off the train. And of course, we don't see him until the Winter Soldier again. Uh, I love the... Uh, let's see. There was another scene I wanted to talk about. The chase sequence after America gets his powers and he's chasing that guy. And he gets that car door, the cab door, and his shield. Uh, I love everything about this movie. This movie is great. And you might think I'm sucking Marvel's dick because I've liked all the movies so far. That is not true. I did not like Iron Man 2 at all. Uh, this movie is just so much fun. That ending scene with him crashing the plane to the Arctic is just one of the most heartfelt scenes in the MCU thus far. We know he's coming back. We know Captain America's going to be in the Avengers, but it still brings a tear to your eye in the most climactic and amazing and patriotic way possible. That is Captain America. He is great. This movie is fantastic. I do recommend seeing it. If you haven't seen it, what the fuck are you doing? And if you don't like this, like I said, get off my channel. Because this is a fantastic movie. It's really underrated. If you think Thor was underrated, you have not seen Captain America. You have not seen it. Because it's so damn underrated. And uh, yeah, that is my opinion. Those are my thoughts on Captain America the First Avenger. Overall, I think my rating is going to stand uh, a little bit further than Thor and Incredible Hulk. I think I'm going to go with a very positive, very good, high up there, 8.2 out of 10 for Captain America the First Avenger. Uh, anyway, guys, that, that's my rating. Those are my thoughts. This is why I love Captain America the First Avenger. If you guys agree with me or if you guys like the video at all, please leave, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Uh, I'll come back to you guys again with the Avengers review, which is still, in my opinion, in my top three favorite MCU movies. Can't wait to talk about that. Uh, I'll see you guys then. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.